I'd, I'd like to talk a little bit about how we, Ford Motor Company, have ranked the 25 top EV-ready cities across the United States. Um, first and foremost, we think one of the most important things to do is to have an advisory board. And that advisory board within each city consists of what we think are the three most important um, uh, stakeholders. One is the city itself, two is the utility company, and three are the manufacturers like ourselves, Ford Motor Company. Once you have those three legs of the stool, that group can really set all of the requirements and, all of, and solve all of the cha challenges to help electrification. Um, one of the big things uh, when you have an electric vehicle that we really need to solve is that public charge stations need to be put in the right place and put at the right time. There's nothing worse than having some of the best parking spots of a location dedicated to electric vehicles and having too many of them and having some of the best prime parking not being used. So having an urban planning approach where you actually look at traffic flows and where people spend their time is, is, is paramount to getting the right charge stations in the right place at the right time. Getting the customers to actually charge their vehicles at night. And why do we say that? Because the grid is actually sized for peak power. And that peak power, and I'm, I'm talking about the national grid, and the national grid is sized for peak power, which typically happens around 1 or 2 p.m. in the afternoon. That's when all businesses and air conditioners are running. And, and therefore, when, if you can get customers of electric vehicles to actually charge at the nighttime, there's plenty of capacity available. So the utility doesn't have to make additional investments. And then if you, if you put the right incentives in place to charge at night, the customers of electric vehicles will actually reduce their cost of, of charging. We talk about how permitting, permitting really needs to be reduced into this 48-hour window to really make uh, the customer be able to get a charge station installed at a, at a reasonable time. So if you look at Los Angeles, they're, they're an example that have really looked at this challenge and gotten the, the time out. They've actually gone from a three-week process down to 48 hours. And actually, the whole process now is online. And it's almost as if you get instant approval right when you go online and apply for your permit. So that's going to make the whole buying experience in the Los Angeles area much better for our EV customers. So another example of a city that's really focusing on one of the key aspects of electrification is Seattle. And Seattle has taken a look at the signage that you have around your public charge stations. And what we mean by that is the actual sign that is in front of the public charge station that identifies what charge capability that charge station has. So they have a simple one, two, three system that's been commonized so that all charge stations, when you drive up to it, you will be able to quickly assess whether or not it's compatible with your vehicle. The second piece that they've commonized is the enforcement and the signage around that. So now there is a common template that says electric vehicle vehicles can only park in this spot during this period of time and if you're not an electric vehicle then this is what happens meaning a tow or a ticket and all of that has been commonized with in Seattle they've done a great job and we're using that as well as a template uh, with some of the other cities <laughs>